what's what's more likely to happen 2023 this is going to be a topic of discussion kind of uh for the first half of the year for many people i guess but um we can kick it off uh you know look it's impressive what popovich did long course but then he backed it up short course and did some incredible things uh i'm really excited to see his development as as a man as a swimmer um it's just he never ceases to amaze me with what he can do and where he can go uh milak is is you know knocking down the door of that 149 so uh in all uh fairness here what do you think is going to go first here uh what, what do you think happens first i guess it's the first person to have a crack at this really so uh, i don't know what the timeline is for some of these guys but uh i think both these swims are going to happen in 2023 what do you think i'm leaning towards popovich 100 percent going 141 but i think he does it in 2024 or 2025, I think, you know, if we're looking purely on numbers, he's currently a 142.9, so he's got a second to drop. Milak is, I think, 150.3, so he's got 0.4 to drop. Uh, and also, Milak's got the the whole resume of medals. Now, he's Olympic champ, he's world champ, he's done it all, whereas Mi Popovich still needs that Olympic gold. And I, I don't think it's whether or not he'll get it. I think he'll get it, but he still needs to do it. So I think he will be a little more focused on next year, whereas Milak, I think you can, can have a little bit more of a stress-free shot. So I, I think Milak will do it first. I actually, okay, good. I appreciate that. Uh, you're probably right. You, you could be right. Um, and then you could be wrong because uh, Popovich is, is a freak and he can surprise all yeah. of us and 